All right, so we're extracting a sprite class. We're going to add a file called sprite.py, define the class, and then copy and paste from pacman.py. This is our, our just primary objective here. All right, so um, the first step is to define a new file. So we're going to hit the add file button here. All right, and then the name of our file is going to be sprite.py. Then we're going to go class sprite. Right. So now one thing that we're going to be using in the sprite class is the high game uh, code structure. So it's not a bad idea to go ahead and import pi game as well. Okay, so um, now we just need to complete this. So if this was the part that was confusing you, how to get started, all right, we're We've now done that, so what you want to do next is copy in basically everything uh, from uh, Pac-Man. All right, so we're going to copy in these three things. We're going to copy in the init function. We're going to copy in the update function. Right now, the way we've built our program, essentially Pac-Man is a sprite object. So what we want to do is extract that sprite object into its own class. All right, so that Pac-Man can be a game, not a sprite object. All right, so that's our objective. See if you can pull that off. Um, again, we're copying these three things into Sprite. We're copying the init function into Sprite. We're copying the update function into Sprite. All right, copying stuff in. Uh, now, I'm actually going to do some cutting. Um, because we we can remove this stuff. So um, this code up here, we want to copy it. Uh, but what we really want to do is cut it, okay? Um, so we're going to remove it from Pac-Man, and then we're going to put it into Sprite. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go to Pac-Man.py a second time. Now this time I'm going to copy, all right? Um, I'm going to copy this because I need the init function in Pac-Man. All right, so copy this, um, and then in Sprite, paste it. Check your indentation. See, so my indentation is off on the def, so I need to tab that, space, that line over a spot, and then we can remove the super call. So this is what the init function looks like for Pac-Man. For the sprite class, I should say. Sorry. Right, make sure your sprite class is correct. It should look like this. All right, then what we want to do next is copy, do the, do the same thing. We we'll do the same thing, but with the update function. So we go to Pac-Man. We want to grab the update function. Now, there's a lot of extra code here, so I'm going to go ahead and thin this out a little bit before I copy it. All right, and then I'm going to grab all of it. Control C to copy that update function. Spread object. I'm going to paste it. Make sure your indentation is correct. It should line up with init. Excuse me. There we go. All right. No need to change anything, all right? Just make sure it lines up, okay? That's your new sprite object, at least for right now. We're gonna, we'll modify it in just a little bit. So I just copied and pasted, okay? 
Well, we're going to go back to the Pac-Man game. We're going to remove now all of the code that pertains to the animation. Okay. So we're going to go back to Pac-Man. And then inside update, all the code that pertains to displaying and animating Pac-Man, we're, we're going to delete it. All right. So I'm just going to put a pass in for update for right now. And then the same thing is true for the init function, but we don't want to not call the super, all right? That's why we deleted it from the other thing is because we didn't need it there. We need it here in this spot inside of uh, pacman.py. But the for loop, we do not need, all right? So we can remove that. All right, so what I'd like you to do, okay, is see if you can remember how to create and initialize and update a sprite object. Okay, so we've done this for buttons, right? We've done this for buttons many times. Now we want to do a sprite object. So what we need to do here is you're going to define a sprite variable. Then you are going to call uh, the initializer for sprite and then you're going to um, we're going to say blit and animate no just blit is right sprite update sprite yeah 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 yeah, yeah. call the update method There we go. Okay, see if you can do it. All right, so we're to define a variable. All right, so I'm making a Pac-Man sprite. So my variable name will be Pac-Man. All right, we'll set it equal to zero because it has to be set equal to something and we can't set it equal to a new sprite. Um, and then Pac-Man uh, Pac gets uh, Sprite. Now this will be an error for two reasons. The first is that Pac-Man is a local variable, so we wanted to reference self dot instead. The second one is that Sprite is undefined. Okay, so the reason why it's undefined is because we forgot to import it. Um, so we want to go from the sprite uh, code document, we want to import the sprite object. And then we just need to call the updater for sprite. So self.pacman um, equals, nope, self.pacman.update screen. All right now. If uh, you coded this um, successfully, and we didn't, there's actually some bugs. All right, this would run. All right, but there's a, there are a couple bugs we'll have to fix. So let's look and see what they are. Sprite object has no attribute delta time. All right, so delta time was a property of the game object. So the sprite object doesn't know about it. The game, yeah. Um, so if we look at sprite, here's the problem right here. Sprite is calling self dot delta time. Okay. Self dot delta time does not exist in the sprite object which means that that information needs to be provided to it. Since it's not internal, it has to come from an external source. And you know how to do that. You know how to get that, all right? So see if you can come up with it. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to add a parameter after screen, which is delta time, right? And then in your Pac-Man, you'll need to pass delta time into the update method.
right, so I'm going to give you a chance to try to do this on your own, and then I'll show you the solution. Okay, so here's the problem. We need delta time. Sprite doesn't have delta time. So you might think, don't do this, <laughs> but you might think that this is the place to put it. The problem is, is that delta time never gets updated here, right? It would just be zero, okay, which means it would never animate. It fixes the error, but it doesn't animate. This is because this is external to the sprite object, okay? It's information that sprite doesn't know about. So the only way for sprite to get this information is for this information to come to it. And you do that by adding a parameter. Okay, so this list right here, this is the parameter list for the function. Basically, this is information, screen and delta math, that doesn't exist inside the sprite object. It has to be uh, given to it so that it can use that information to do pretty cool things. All right, so the delta math has to, delta math? Yeah, delta time. The delta time has to come into it uh, from the uh, rest of the program. Okay, that's one for the blooper reels right there. Now, um, this produces an error inside of update related to self. Self is used whenever you're, you're uh, accessing a property. Well, delta time is not a property of Sprite. Um, so it's not, you're not going to use self dot, all right? It's just delta time. So we have to make that adjustment there, all right? So please make sure that you do that here before we move on, okay? You need to remove the self dot in front of delta time um, and then make sure that you add it to the parameter list for update, all right? So now that we've done that for Sprite, we can go back to Pac-Man, and when we call Pac-Man.update, all right, we need to also give it the delta time. Now notice here that we're using the keyword self again. <laughs> this is because delta time, uh, self.delta time is a property of the Pac-Man class via the game object, okay? Um, so this is where delta time is coming from, and then we're going to pass that into Pac-Man, uh, self.pacman.update. And now we have an animating Pac-Man, and look what we've done to our Pac-Man class. All right, you see how it's been dramatically simplified? Okay, not only has it been dramatically simplified, but we now have the capability of, of creating more than one sprite. Um, so, for example, I'm just I'm going to call this ghost uh, for now. Um, now, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Self.ghost equals sprite. And then self.ghost.update screen delta time. Okay. I should have stopped the last video and started a new one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now.